Jeremiah is in Atlanta. Hi, Jeremiah. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Uh, got a question. Right now, um, so I've been listening to you, I guess, for about a year now. started the baby steps, and I'm probably, I, I think right now, I'm about six grand away from only having my mortgage left to pay. Good. Um, but besides that, I had um, next year... I'm set to be at about 55 for my salary. Um, a friend of mine who has done very well for himself and owns his own business has offered me a job that could potentially double my income. Um, if it was a family member, I, I pretty sure I would have no issue saying, you know, I appreciate it. No, thanks. Cause I don't want, you know, I really don't want to work with family. So that would, you know, kind of have any sort of animosity if anything went south but with it being you know not a family it's somebody i've known for about 15 or 20 years is it a smart choice or do i leave it where i'm at what does potentially make double the income mean uh so well in, in passing we were talking and he you know he he said hey you know you know, quit quit what you're doing now just come work for me he's i got a six-figure job for you and that's how that's how serious the conversation has been. For the, that, that's about it. So okay. I mean, I know. So let, let's I, get something I straight. Went and right? sat down and yeah, let's get something straight. This, this does not work if he's giving you a job, paying you six figures, and you don't know how to do a six-figure job. That's called your friend giving you money for free, and that's not going to work. Right. Okay. So what I've got to understand, if I'm you. Step one is to figure out, okay, I'm going to be doing something that is worth six figures to his company and that exactly. he would pay someone else six figures to do the same job, and I'm able to do that job, okay? So um, mm -hmm. if he's asking you to do something you can't do, then you're going to disappoint. This is going to blow up. If, he's, uh, if he wouldn't pay someone else six figures to do the job, then this is going to blow up because it's charity it's not a job or if you hate it if he's bringing you on to be a salesman and you hate sales eventually you're gonna have to disappoint him right yeah right uh, yeah so i'm not good at it i hate it or he's not going to pay someone else that so i got to understand what those details are right now it sounds like a very very off the cuff comment not a job offer is that fair yeah sir. okay so let's let's go back okay. you know to him and say okay were you serious what would I be doing and why would I be worth that? Okay. Now let's take it a step further then and give you some guidelines of how this works. When uh, mentally healthy people, emotionally healthy people, spiritually healthy people work together, they can be family, they can be friends. Some of my best friends on the planet work on my team here. And I'm, I'm per and they were friends before some of them. Some of them were friends, became friends while they were working here. I've just got unbelievable respect for them. I love them. They're just good people. They're great at their jobs. Everything's good. Okay. Now, how can you do that? How can you work with family, which you said you wouldn't do, or or something near to family, which is a 15-year-old friend? The, the way you do that is uh, this thing called just mutual respect and clear roles. When you work for him, uh, he's the CEO and you're the whatever it is your title is, uh, you're not friends in the sense of he doesn't owe you something because of your friendship. He owes you fairness and dignity, clarity, uh, guidance, support. That's what a leader o owes anyone that works on their team if they're a quality leader. And you owe him that you're game on. You're not mailing it in. You're not backstabbing him. You're not half button it as an employee. Uh, because, you, you know, anywhere else you worked, you get fired for doing that. And if your friend fires you for doing that, then he did that because he was your friend, not because he's a mean old boss, because you're a half butt right. employee. So if you go and you do your part at work and he does his part at work, and, that is, and when you're at work, you wear the hat of, he wears the hat of boss and you wear the hat of team member, then when you take those hats off and later on you're hanging out, uh, and you got two hats on that say friends, then you can treat each other differently there. But you don't get a pass at Ramsey because your last name's Ramsey. As a matter of fact, you kind of got to bring it more. 
and you don't get yes, a sir. pass at Ramsey because I've known you 40 years. Because uh, I've got friends that I've at 40 years I've known them, and they're on this team and have been on this team 15 or 20 years of the 40 years I've known them. But they still don't get a pass. And, oh, by the way, I don't get a pass either. I don't get to be a jerk to them just because we, we've been friends for years, so they have to take extra crap off of me as the boss. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So treat people the right way as the leader, as the employee, and then you don't have to worry about whether you're friends or not, and you can still be friends. Right. A good friend would sit down and tell mm-hmm. you if you were half button it. Right. So how real is this flyby job offer? Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty real. I'm pretty sure I could head over there to the house and talk to him about it today. Yeah. I would do that. I think you need some relational clarity and you need some clarity for your soul because you're on a, on a, on a financial trajectory, you're working hard and the lure of another 50 grand feels really good. Get some clarity on that, oh, man. feels great. Yeah. Get some clarity on that. <laughs> Well, it could be that you're okay. underpaid where you are and you built your value up in the market and that, you know, you could land this type of a position somewhere else as well. That's possible. And it could be that he's going to say, yeah, all you got to do is move 48 cars a month and you can make $100,000 and you could say, yeah, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I don't think, right, I, can, right, I, don't yeah. think I can do that or I want to do that. Yeah, so uh, number one, find out and firm up that you're going to bring value that's equal that. Number two... You're going to like the type of position. And then the last part is that whole last diatribe I just did was you can work with friends. You can be friends. You know, I, one guy said you could never be friends with people that you lead. Of course, you should be friends with people you lead. That's stupid. Right. If you're a good leader, you should, you should love people enough when you're leading them to be friends with them. But that does not mean that I can't hold you accountable. It doesn't even mean I can't fire you. It means right. I will fire you. I fired some of my best friends for different reasons. I had some of my best friends quit, you know, and we remain right. friends in most cases, depending on what is going on there. But uh, but it's not that, that, you know, friends can't work together. That's not true. I think Mentally healthy and balanced friends can. I think that is more of, a, of an indictment of what friendship has come to mean. Which means I'm just gonna entitlement. I'm, I'm just gonna make you feel good and say you go, you go, Dave. And you go be you, I'm man. I'm never gonna tell you something hard. I'm never gonna hold you accountable. I'm never gonna walk demand on excellence out of you. Yeah, friendship does all those things, even if you're not on my Real team. Real friendship does. That's right. I'll guarantee you, man. I got men in my life that hold me to that, and I hold them to that. Heck yeah. And they don't. They're not on my payroll. Yeah, that's, but that's real friendship. That's exactly that's right. Tough love. No, honey, it's love. It's just love, man.